I can honestly tell you, my heart is pounding. And if you love athletics, wherever you are in the world, I'm sure you, yours is as well. What an extraordinary lineup of talent. This could be so, so special. Three women will be on the podium, and boy, oh boy, they're going to have to earn it the hard way. Abby Steiner, the NCAA champion, the national champion. She's only 22. This is the biggest race of her life. Aminatu Saini, the African champion, 22-04 in the semi-finals. Big puff of the cheeks. Listen to this. Voted amongst the world's most 100 inspirational women. Is it to be gold in the two as it was in the one for Fraser Price? Tamara Clark, her first global final as well. What a stage and what a position. Can she hold her nerve? Bronze in Rio, bronze in Doha, bronze in Tokyo. She's got one silver here in Eugene. She only wants one colour, though. It's gold. Sharika Jackson in four. The defending champion, Dina Asher-Smith, equaled her national record in the 100 metres, and it still wasn't good enough for a medal. She'll need to do so again. The Olympic champion, the second fastest 200 metre runner in history. How close will she have to go to that time to lift this title? The four-time Olympic champion has never won a world, indo a world indoor or outdoor crown. Kambunji's won an indoor crown at the 60 in March, brimming with confidence. She goes in one. Take a moment to savour this wherever you are in the world. The Olympic champion, the defending champion, the former champion, the fastest woman in the world this year, and a group of first-time global finalists looking to tackle and tame two all-time greats. This race has everything and everyone. Hayward Field is about to witness history. Whoever wins the Women's World Championship final over 200 metres. Rarely has there been such a sense of expectation and anticipation ahead of a 200 metre final. Shelly Ann Fraser Price has got out well. Jackson now coming through. Thompson, Herrera, and Dina Asher Smith have got a lot to do. Asher Smith is coming into the mix. Now Sharika Jackson coming up onto the shoulder of Shelly Ann Fraser Price. At last, at last, it's Jackson's turn to be the queen of sprinting. 21.46. She becomes the fastest living woman on earth. And at last, at last, after so many bronze and silver medals, it is a glittering gold for Sharika Jackson. And how they will celebrate that back in Jamaica. We already know Thompson Herra is one of the greats. We already know Fraser Price is one of the greats. But tonight, it was the turn of Sharika Jackson. And she delivered just when she needed it the most. Fraser Price takes the silver, not quite to be the gold that it was in Moscow nine years ago. And the crowd have just applauded Dina Asher Smith because the defending champion is on the podium once more. She came through past Thompson Herra, who was run out of it in the end in a roundabout sixth or seventh place. But that was a brilliant, brilliant run. I thought Jackson would win it. And guess what? She came ever, ever so close to breaking the world record. It's on the cards, not tonight. She might do it this season, but how sweet is this for Sharika Jackson? She withstood the pressure of the Shelly Ann Fraser Price rocket speed start, and Jackson came through for the title. It's a standing ovation here in Eugene, and I bet in the bars all across Jamaica, in Falmouth, in Kingston, in the nightclubs, in the homes, they will be celebrating a night on which Jamaican women have once again come out on top of the world. But it's silver this time for Fraser Price and the gold for Jackson. Boom! That was a great race. You talked about Shelly Ann getting out. She got out the blocks. 
Sharika did not lose her composure. She knows she has that closing speed. We talked about it earlier in the week from the 400 and the 200 and the 100. And she came home strong, lifting and dominating that race. 21.45. I think the world record is within this woman's grasp. She has just become the fastest living woman on earth second on the all-time list. Dan O'Brien, how well did Jackson execute the race of her life against Fraser Price? Well, guys, I'm, I'm trying to think over these blowhorns. I'm trying to think <laughs> over these blowhorns. These Jamaican blowhorns have been going for five minutes straight here, but it was absolutely masterful. That last 100 meters, you knew Shelley and Fraser Price was going to get out to a big start, and a lot of times the athletes who gets, get out to those big starts they make the race possible for everybody else. So I really think the fact that uh, Sharika Jackson winning in that time had a lot to do with Shelly Ann Fraser Price. But it, the last 100 meters in the 200, it's all about guts. And sometimes your heart has got to be bigger than your legs and your and your lungs. And I think I think uh, Sharika Jackson's heart was the biggest part of her body tonight. Brilliant run from. Asher Smith, 22.02. Saini wasn't too far away from the podium. Asher Smith ran a brilliant bend, and Thompson Herra was out of it. At one stage, I thought perhaps Asher Smith might put Jackson under a little bit of pressure just in the lane outsider. But how well did she accelerate and pull away in that last 40 metres? It was a truly majestic, majestic run, which lived up to the hype and expectation. <laughs> it did. Dina Asher Smith got out also very well, and she showed what the defending champion can do. She knows how to get on that podium. She knows how to win. I've been watching her throughout the 100 and the 200, putting together and having the belief and faith that she can get it done, and she did tonight. I really, really, really hope you enjoyed watching that wherever you are in the world. This is our sports turn to be front and center. Sharika Jackson has just done an interview on the PA system and the crowd have roared. They're sitting down again now, but it was a standing ovation here. All the Americans politely applauding the Jamaican one, two and the British bronze. Uh, Steiner, by the way, was fifth in 22-26. Uh, Clark in 22-32 was, was sixth. I, they, they are two fine athletes, the two Americans, and their time will come. But this was such a difficult stage on which to contest your first global final. Taking on, in Thompson Herra and Fraser Price, two of the all-time greats, and in Jackson, the fastest woman in the world this year. It was just a little bit too much for the two Americans to live with. They were in a race that was of extraordinary caliber of talent. And they can go back with the experience of saying that they were in a race that was very close to the world record. So they know what it takes to come back again. And they'll learn from, those, from that experience. But on this day, the Jamaicans have solidified themselves, regardless of it being a sweep or not, of being the dominant in the sprints, 100 and 200 meters. Right, look again. Fraser Price, third from the left-hand side, gets the great start. Asher Smith is running really well, up with Jackson at the moment. Thompson Harris getting tight, and she's run out of it at this stage. Asher Smith then begins to go backwards, but she's cementing her place in third, and Jackson floats away from the defending champion, Asher Smith, on her left, and Shelly Ann Fraser Price the all-time great 100-meter runner on her right-hand side, on her left. This is just brilliant. I mean, you look at her arms, and she is just composed. She's big arms. You tell kids when they're coming home, big arms, big arms, big arms, and she's big arms, front side mechanics, and going through the finish line, not to the finish line, as I heard Dan say yesterday. You've got to run through the finish line. No living woman has run faster than Sharika Jackson just did in that final. Second on the all-time list, pushing Elaine thompson Herra down to third. And her wait for a global gold in the World Championship goes on for individual Olympic titles, of course. But you knew, I, I think this is her best distance. Yes. You talked about that. I mean, you, you, we were talking about that the other day, and she proved that. 
I mean, it was so great to see her. Like she said, she doesn't like this, the 100 meters, although she runs very well. The 200 is her better event on this day, and that was remarkable to watch. One of the greatest pieces of sprinting we've ever seen over 200 meters. Jackson goes second on the all-time list with a massive championship record. Silver for the 100 meter champion, Fraser Price, and the defending champion from Great Britain, Dina Asher-Smith, takes the bronze.